you're looking at here is a good friend of mine, Florian, and that is him stickering up his Camo LaFerrari with some Pirelli stickers. This is gonna be an extremely exciting video today. Florian and I are about to go up a closed rally stage. I'm doing a little voiceover so I can tell you a bit about the car, but also say a massive thank you to Pirelli who put all of this together. Now, the car is obviously a LaFerrari, which means it's got 950 brake horsepower. That's combined from a 789 from a petrol engine and 161 from an electric assisted engine. So the car also weighs about 1250 kilos and does a 0 to 60 in sub three seconds. It is a total beast. Now, I wanted to keep this video fairly raw, so it's mostly just going to be Florian and I in the car chatting and reacting to a LaFerrari on a closed road. I've never been in one before, but rather than just chatting about it, I think it's time we hop in and we just see what this insane experience is going to be go. like. Uh, maybe if you close the door. Oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> yeah, no, that does help. Good to go? I'm good to go. I'm ready. Okay. <laughs> the tires are cold, so we start easy. You do you. Maybe if I put first gear. Yeah, gear, gear. It kind of comes in handy once in a while. And for two seconds, you feel like you're Sebastian Loeb. <laughs> oh, dude. I'm, I'm already called Sebastian, so I kind of feel like I'm halfway there. Everyone loves the LaFerrari. I love it too. Yeah, <laughs> so do I. This is my first ever LaFerrari experience. <laughs> it always feels the first. Like, like the first yeah. time, you know? Yeah, yeah. You never get used to it. So that was much. good, huh? Dude, this that thing is good. crazy. And by the way, this is really one of those don't try these at home. Like because, really. Yeah, because <laughs> Florian is a professional racing driver. Oh, I'm gonna need like three nights sleep after that. <laughs> oh my god. I just would have loved to have the tires a little bit warmer. Yeah. Because it was really cold and it was sliding everywhere. Yeah. But um, well, listen, yeah, dude, I mean, that was know, plenty for me. We <laughs> yeah, it was good. It was good. That was so much. Did you enjoy it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 that was so much fun. It's my first experience on uh, closed roads, you know. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Usually I'm on the circuits. Yeah. So it's also like this, but here yeah, it was so tight, and it's like rally driving with that a LaFerrari. Was, it's like <laughs> that, that could be the title of this video. Yeah, kind of. Rally driving in a LaFerrari. <laughs> crazy, oh crazy. My shit. God, I really have goosebumps, and I can. Me too, feel like the, genuinely. Like, <laughs> we're, go I, we're gonna watch this video again. I swear, I'm laughing the whole. It was five minutes. I'm laughing the whole way up. <laughs> I can feel my heart rate like. Yeah, 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 yeah. Full of Oh man, adrenaline. that was potentially the craziest thing I've ever done in a car. <laughs> oh. It was good. It was good. Okay, we're gonna stop these cameras now, and I'm gonna recuperate. Yeah, we okay. will go a little bit slower on yeah. the way down because it's you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Down, so you don't want to go. No, as fast. not not too fast, but uh, yeah. 
But we're alive, that's always good. <laughs> that was a fairly mental experience. Now what you can see is Florian putting another sticker on the car in a rather odd position, but hey ho. And what we're about to do now is actually drive back towards Monaco. Now everything was done fairly last minute on this shoot. We didn't have much time. So this should just stuck up a GoPro at first. Was really worried about not having a front facing camera, but don't worry, bear with us for the first minute with no front facing, but then we bring in a front facing so you can see what we were looking at. But we just hopped into the car and I just wanted to talk to someone who's been behind the wheel of a LaFerrari. So this is just two mates having a chat about an amazing car on an amazing road. We're cruising back to Monaco now in the LaFerrari. As you saw, we're on some pretty small roads. And uh, this is just, I can't believe the opportunity we've got right now. I mean, I'm sat in a LaFerrari. And obviously, massive thank you to this guy. If you don't already, you have to go follow him. As I said before, all his stuff is down below. But the access, that you've granted us to this car is amazing and allowing us to move this video. There's nothing like the noise, dude. It's next level. You know, honestly, I'm not just saying this. I think this may be my new favorite car. It has always been mine and yeah. uh, will always remain, I think. It's really, really such a, it's, it's an incredible car. Like yeah. every possible aspect from the design, the pleasure of driving, uh, the performance, like everything is just insane. It's, it's, and yeah. what, what's it like to drive? Like what's it like to experience? Honestly, honestly, it's, uh, it always feels like a dream. It's like you don't realize you do it, you know? Of yeah. course you have the chance to do it and it's super nice. But every time it's like, oh, you know, is it real? Yeah. <laughs> like, you, you, oh, I can imagine. You don't, you don't get used to it, you know, it's like, oh, I'm just passing this. Yeah, we've got like loads of blind corners. So, uh, we've got some guys filming. We're, We're doing everything at the same time. I know, filming. and also, sorry I don't have a front facing camera. It's all like, it just happened so quickly. So we kind of just, we figured we'd hop in and we would just chat, Flo and I, about the car. Um, but man, what an experience this has been. It is. Today, it is. I mean, we literally drove basically a rally special, on Flo's rally special, in a LaFerrari. Like, I don't think anyone's done that before. No, I don't think so. <laughs> and you probably saw from our reaction, we were like goosebumps, like it was crazy. Insane, like yeah. really insane. Really, really, really. Okay, we might get a front facing camera now, after having said that. What? Okay. Yeah, as you can tell, it's pretty, um, pretty hectic over here but right you should have a front facing camera now so that should skip into the bottom of the screen so you can see what we're looking at as we go but yeah the thing about this car is it's like super raw isn't it like it's it is, brutal it is, power yeah. it's it's raw power it's exactly yeah. the world the grip you get in the corners due to the massive tires and the low uh, downforce yeah. is, is just uh, the, the lower center of gravity, of gravity. well so because it, you it's just you know you, you get speed in the corner that you would never expect with a, yeah. with a world car, you know? Yeah. It's like... Uh, and you know that so well because Flo comes from a racing background. Oh, <laughs> so you've driven some insane race cars. Yeah, yeah, I did. So uh, you I must usually chance. get into a road car and think, oh, well, this is boring. Kind of, <laughs> to but be honest. But this, not in this one, yeah. not in this one. This one feels really special. But yeah, I had the chance to... Uh, I'm racing in the Ferrari Challenge Championship since uh, four years. Okay. Uh, in the pro class, so we, we go out. Yeah, uh, I can imagine. But, uh, but I also had the chance to, to do a test in an LMP3 car. No way. And, uh, and it actually feels kind of the same, you know? Yeah, yeah. So, and an LMP3 feels like a small Formula One. So, yeah. you know, it's like really, really getting close to this. And the feeling is just absolutely oh. insane. They, they want us to go quick. I don't know, we're getting our instructions. We'll obey, I guess. It's a bumpy road surface, yeah, so we bumpy. can't go too fast. Maybe we'll wait for them. Yeah, I literally can't stop smiling, dude. <laughs> like, it's insane. No, but I have the same feeling, honestly. As I said, it's always like a dream. Like, yeah. You, you don't... I know, it's just... 
Yeah. Yeah. We do it like you don't have the words to explain the the, the, the pleasure it is. To and it's great, and that's what we're trying to make you guys experience because like. I don't know, I've always dreamt of experiencing this and now I'm able to do it and we can bring you guys along and that's the beauty of this whole YouTube thing. And uh, and oh man, I'm just I'm I so wish excited. they could feel the power it is because it's insane. really yeah insane. It's something you can not experience with another car. Yeah. Like And we've both been lucky enough to be in, in some nice cars. Yeah. So um, But this is far beyond anything else. Like yeah. really oh, like, 100%. Like when the first time I hit the throttle and I went full speed, I was like, oh my God, yeah, this yeah, is yeah. not real. Like, oh, this crazy. is like a UFO. I don't know what it is. Yeah. Well, I don't know what it is, but it's so it's, it's, it's next level. Yeah. And it's not just the speed that, like you were saying, it's the cornering, it's the braking, it's the noise. It's like how everything in here feels just like so nice, like beautiful carbon, Alcantara. Yeah. And, and, and yeah, yeah. And, and when you sit inside, it feels like a, a cockpit, you know? Oh yeah. It's like yeah. really, you have this sharp nose on front and it's like pointing to... Oh really, you can hear all the little stones. The gravels, yeah. Like what is that? <laughs> that should not be possible. It's insane. Oh my god, and the visibility is actually really good. Yeah, yeah, we have a good visibility. The funny thing is this sun stuff, which are super small. <laughs> They're tiny. You don't see, but it's so small. <laughs> I had the same with my Lotus. They were like this big, <laughs> it's like, and it's like they just did it for the regulations. Yeah, exactly. I think. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Like the light is nice. Yeah, the light is always the best part of the day, I guess. And we are. I mean, we're just so lucky. We're driving. I think probably the best car in the world. To my, to my eyes, eyes, it is. Yeah. Definitely, there's nothing better. And is it hard to drive or is it... No, it's actually super easy. Yes. Yeah. I would like to go front, but I see the 30, so we, we're going to oh, stay. Yeah. Just a 30 km an yeah, hour zone. If there is a speed limit stuff. No, yeah. it actually, the first time you drive it, honestly, it's quite scary. Because I I, you, you, you're sitting so low and you know the mirrors are so high and everything yeah. changed from regular cars. Yeah. Uh, so it, it feels a bit strange and when you know the value of the car you're like okay fuck I really have yeah, to be yeah, careful yeah. Yeah. but when you get used to it it's actually super easy to drive it's yeah. like a normal car I would say from the feeling you know if you yeah. drive it normally it's like easy to drive and that's almost what it feels like yeah like it's raw but I'm not uncomfortable no, no, yeah. or if, anything like if, if we drive soft like we do now slow it's really convenient you yeah. know even from the noise if you close the windows then it's, you, then it's, it's chill. It's, it's really chill, but if you open the throttle, it's like another world. It's a beast. You, you know? And I mean, especially this one in this camo spec, the amount of attention it gets. Yeah, it's crazy. It's insane. It's like wherever we go, everyone's turning around. Like, what is that? Especially that we're in villages that probably don't often see supercars. Yeah, no, I guess. And then they see a, a, a two-tone camo LaFerrari coming down the road. What is this? You know? Yeah. And you designed it yourself, right? Yeah, yeah. I did the whole design. Uh, it was quite a lot of work, but it was really nice. And that's actually the part that I enjoy the most. You know, it's like I get the cra crazy idea, and the part that I really like is when it comes to life. You know, yeah. but when it's done, you know, then it's it's get. I mean, it's for the others. You know, yeah, it, yeah. They, then they enjoy. It. Yeah, because but we don't see it when we're in yeah. the car. But uh, no, no. But I mean, you know, it's the whole process, like yeah. getting the idea. Like, okay, there is the supercar. What could we do on it? Like, you know, working on the project and thinking, okay, this is going to get real yeah. in, into this world, you know, and, and this is really the, the, the part that excites me, you know, but when it's done, you just want to switch to something. I mean, oh, you know, sure. you, you want to do more crazy projects, the one after each other. Oh, for sure. And what you've done, like, I know this car's been so popular online and it's been so cool for us to see someone who's like, yeah, I've been able to bring this to life and give so many more people access to a car like yeah, this. I think that's the cool thing, you know. <laughs> Honestly, that never gets old. Well, no. not that I've done it many times, but in like the five times I've done that, every time it takes my breath away. Yeah, I have the same. I really have the same. And it's like really a step up because like I was in the uh, McLaren 600 LT 
like a couple days ago, which is like a super fast track car. Uh -huh. But this is like, it's hard to describe how much of a high level it is. I've never been in a McLaren, but oh, yeah. yeah, from all the other cars I've been, it was like a massive step. Yeah. I was like, I, I don't even understand, to be honest, how this is world legal. Right? Yeah. Because if you really know how to drive this car, it's you know, yeah, it's like, it shouldn't, it shouldn't be legal. It's, it's, <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. And that's why, like, when you go the closed road part, I knew you were a racing driver and from like one minute in I was like this dude knows exactly what he's doing and that's what made the experience so much better for me and if ever that's why I say like don't actually try this to just go to a road and try yourself because you need to be with someone who really knows what they're doing and it makes the experience so much better because there's no like fear it's just enjoyment yeah and that, that was the best thing for me you always have to keep a, you know a margin you yeah. can have fun you know where you can go yeah. until where you can go but you don't have to go over the limits you exactly know, if you are with someone who knows how to do that then you are in safe hands yeah, but exactly and the crazy thing is you were telling me you were like at 30 40 percent yeah the acceleration yeah, yeah. and i got to the top and i was like oh my god like that was insane and you're like yeah 30 40 percent <laughs> what yeah no we were keeping uh, quite a good margin but it was a lot of fun like really i, I have no idea of what people like Sebastian Loeb must be feeling because honestly it's like wow so tight and a lot of points like it's really, crazy thanks to Pirelli for doing this yeah. because honestly it was really cool it was really cool. cool you think you're gonna try and do it again no. yeah of course if no. I have the opportunity and Pirelli calls me again for these kind of things I will always do it again because you, you have a number Pirelli yeah you know it's it cool. yeah exactly <laughs> so uh, yeah, maybe you need something like that again just give us a call always but yeah, no, this has been, dude, thank you so much. My that pleasure, my epic. pleasure. And it I think really now nice. we're going to get back to Monaco. I'm going to show you the car one more time from the outside because it is insane. And then we're going to call it a day. But this, honestly, I think it's been my favorite video I've ever filmed. This has been insane. something really loving life at the moment. Florian's now behind the wheel of another beast. This is the speed the left and I know we have full speed with this one. Exactly, full speed all the time. 40 knots. Yeah. You like it's it? Right. Yeah, let's do it. Right, I know we told you we'd be back in the LaFerrari, but Flo and I, we're now on a Pirelli speedboat. We both drove it. What do you think? <laughs> it was massive. <laughs> like, I know, it's crazy. The wave behind was like so big, I never saw this They'd in my life. They said like three, four meters. Yeah, at yeah. least, at least. We were doing 40 crazy. knots, it was insane. But anyways, this is just to end the video. There was quite a spontaneous little ending to this video. If you watch my Instagram stories, you'll know if you watch Flo's Instagram stories, you'll know that we were on this boat. But yeah, thank you so much for doing this. It was honestly thanks, so, so, so cool. It was a big pleasure and thanks to Pirelli for organizing yeah. this. Thank you, obviously, yeah. It was two, two really, really great days. I know, right, because this is a Pirelli boat. So this is a Pirelli, they designed it, right? They yeah, didn't do yeah, the they engine and it. stuff. And it's very nice. We really like it. But thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, remember to subscribe down below. Hit that thumbs up button. Whoops. And oh, <laughs> we'll see you very soon. Bye-bye. Hey. Let's go. Back. Yo, once again, I'm back around. Rush it back in style.